That's what they were missing. There are plenty of new players in the Melbourne Renegades squad, but it was the familiar if perhaps somewhat forgotten Dwayne Bravo who made arguably the biggest impression, with the veteran West Indian taking the best figures in Renegades history to set up a campaign opening win against the Hobart Hurricanes at Bloodstow Arena. Having sent the Hurricanes into bet, the Renegades restricted the hosts to 8 to 164 from their 20 overs, before Marcus Harris and Cameron White controlled the chase, putting on 113 for the second wicket, with the Renegades ultimately mowing down the target with seven wickets in hand and nine balls to spare. Bravo, 34, missed most of last season with a hamstring injury, and the Renegades conceded some big scores. But back in red, he produced one of the finest displays in his long association with Victorian cricket, frustrating the Hurricanes with nifty changes of pace to take 5-28 to 28 from his four overs. Bravo's fifth wicket, that of ex-renegade Matthew Wade, 19, also took him to 400 wickets in 2020 cricket, making the all-rounder the first player to reach that milestone. The Hurricanes struck with just the second ball of the chase as Renegades captain Aaron Finch was well caught by Wade off the bowling of spinner Clive Rose. But Harris and White soon settled, taming Hobart's much vaunted English recruit, Quick Time or Mills. Left-hander Harris looked to be under selection pressure following the pre-season form of recruit Tim Ludman at the top of the order, but he vindicated the decision to stick with him as Finch's opening partner eventually falling for 50 from 34 balls in the 14th over, a double wicket maiden from Hobart's impressive West Indian pace man Joffre Archer. That could have stopped the Renegades' momentum, but White and Brad Hodge were at about to let a winning position slip, with the experienced pair guiding their side home. White may not be a walk-up start in the Sheffield Shield anymore but in this format he's still a force, finishing 79 not out from 59 balls. Earlier. Hobart's top five batsmen all reached 20, but none fully cashed in. Darcy Short and Ben McDermott found touch, but both fell for 34. Short was trapped LBW by Brad Hogg, who at 46 years and 318 days became the oldest player to take a wicket in a 2-0 game. McDermott and George Bailey took aim at the evergreen spinner, who leaked 22 runs in the 11th over, but McDermott fell to a tricky catch from Finch off Bravo's bowling. Among the other positives for the Renegades was the showing of world-class Afghan Mohamed Nabi. The spinning all-rounder took 1-25 to from his four overs, claiming the scalp of Hurricanes skipper George Bailey who was stumped by Ludman for 25 after skipping down the wicket. While their catching was sound, the Renegades' ground fielding left a fair bit to be desired not particularly surprising for a team in which a player nearing his 43rd birthday, Hodge, is still well short of being the oldest man in the team. Hogg, Bravo, Finch and Jack Wildermuth all had moments of sloppiness. The Renegades are back in action on Saturday night when they face Brisbane Heat at Eterhard Stadium.